I was told to film these while they were pretty. Because right now they're pretty, and soon we'll be eating them, and then they won't be pretty anymore. It looks like we went to a doggone restaurant. It's, it's, how do you do it? Well, ask your wife, did you ever see anything she's made? It looks like it comes straight from the restaurant. I'm competing now, you know? <laughs> <I have> competition. <laughs> Everything Mel makes looks like he, she made something over there for the Japanese the food that y'all had. And I thought y'all had, had takeout, and she made it. Well, I'm just glad to be surrounded by good chefs. <laughs> it's It's wonderful. So I decided to handle this vlog just a little bit differently. Yes, there was that previous clip um, where we uh, where we had dinner at my at my parents' house, um, but now it's the end of the day, and instead of just guiding you through the things that happened during the day, since most of it was just building stuff and some other little things that happened, I figured I would just update you at the end of the day about what happened. I, there was actually a fair bit of things that happened and some things that are up, which I'm excited to show you. First off, check this out. This monitor's over here. Isn't that wacky? What will he think of next? Um, the real reason is that I did my first recording in the new place tonight, and um, I can't talk about exactly what it was. It was an episode of Red Dead Redemption, but it ended up being really fitting, and I can't talk about why because it would actually spoil the game a little bit, but it was really fitting, uh, fitting, and I talk about that in the episode. So if you're watching that series, then you'll get something out of it. Um, it is coincidentally very late. Very, very late, and you might be saying, why is it so late? Well, there's... I'll get to that in a second, too. Also, uh, we had ordered some stuff from, from Amazon. Among that was a uh, new mouse pad. Mal got a new mouse pad, and I also got a new mouse pad. It's this big old thing. I don't know if I can recommend it yet. I like it so far, but I'll, it'll take me a little bit more time to get used to it, and then I can speak of it at a later date. Um, I had been using the same mouse pad for seven years. Um, we had gotten a mouse pad that had the cats on it as kittens, and we got it when they were kittens. So, like, I had had it for seven years, and it wasn't in great shape. So when we left the old place, I just trashed it and decided I'd get something new. And, I mean, it was just an image. We have the, the original picture, so it's not like I threw away something I can't get back. Um, but this is nice so far. Uh, I, I did have to record an episode of Red Dead, so that means uh, hooking up the Xbox... Um, it, it's, it's, it, it's interesting because once you are making content, like once you're producing videos, um, like video game recordings or whatever, you don't think about how many moving parts are actually involved in the creation of something like that. Um, and I mean like physical hardware, physical things, parts to put together and, uh, to actually get set up to record tonight, it was a pain in the butt. There's so many wires and things to, to make everything work. And I had to find them and hook them up and make sure everything was hooked up right. And uh, it takes a move to make you really appreciate what you do on a you know daily basis. But man, there's a lot of wires. Um, obviously, this isn't my permanent setup because this is still the folding table. But when my desk comes, I'm going to try and wire it like perfectly and neatly and make it the best it's ever been before. That'd be really cool. Now it's super late as I mentioned and one of the reasons it's super late is because uh, we actually had, I hate to even say this, but we had internet problems. Um, the ISP provided us a modem which is both a modem and a router and when you're connected directly, yes, you get the advertised speeds of 500-500 and that's great. But it's not great for Mao because Mao has to run off of Wi-Fi because she's on the other side of the house. And this modem is a cheap piece of garbage. In fact, it's not even capable of reaching the speeds that they offer. Like it, it's, it's that cheap of a modem router combo. So I decided I wanted to hook up my own router and I called the ISP to ask them to put the modem into bridge mode because that's not anything they allow you to do. And uh, the, I, I talked to the guy, the guy said he did it, and I said, cool, thanks, awesome. And then I didn't have internet at all. And I was like, why, why on earth do I not have internet? So I, I racked my brain trying all sorts of things, trying to figure out why on earth I didn't have internet. And then finally, after troubleshooting it for a long time, I called the ISP back, got someone different, um, a lady, and she said, yeah, I actually know who helped you. He's new. and." <laughs> And uh, honestly, 
those those modems are super uh, fickle and sometimes they just break. He actually could have just like completely bricked the modem. And I was like, oh, well, that's that's good. She said, but you don't need the modem. I was like, I don't. She said, no. She said, you can actually hook your router directly to the wall. Um, that's one of the things you can do with this. And I didn't know that. I've never heard of that before. So I hooked it up to the wall and she she was right. She had to give me some information that I had to type in. But once I did, things actually did start uh, working, except strangely, my speeds dropped to the speeds that I had at the old house. On the modem, they were 500, 500. And then after she set me up on this new thing, I, I, put it, I hooked it up. My download speed dropped from 500 to 200. My upload speed dropped from 500 to 20. And I was telling her this on the phone and she's like, that doesn't make any sense. So she actually, uh, briefly bumped me up a tier because there's a tier higher than what we have. The upload's the same, but the download goes to a thousand. So she bumped me up and then my stuff changed and then she bumped me back down and it was better, but only kind of, and things are still sort of broken. So my download is, is more or less right. It's in like the 500 range, but the upload is not breaking like 200 now. So they're sending a tech out tomorrow to deal with it. So that sucks. But the good news is I can get away from the ISP's hardware, and that's wonderful. I can use my own router, and if I'm not satisfied with this router, which currently I'm not really, um, I can get something different that can probably broadcast all the way to the other side of the house. Um, but the real thing is I'm just going to ask Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's the one that's guided me this far. Jeff will probably guide me into making sure I can get reliable, fast internet over to Mallory because she needs it just as much. Well, maybe not just as much, but almost as much as I do. Dear God. It's also been a little warm up here, um, just because heat rises. I said that the other day, but I learned something very important, actually, and that is, there is one vent in this room. It's on that far side, which is really stupid. However, there's another vent in the bathroom, and there's another vent in this tiny little closet. So what I've decided to do as of today is leave the closet door and the bathroom door open. And you know what? It actually helped a lot. The air circulated a lot more in here and it was a lot cooler than it had been. Is it as cool as it is downstairs? Oh God, no, no, it's still not anywhere close, but it's a lot better. And when I'm not recording, I can run the fan and I've generally been doing that. Oh, let's see what else happened. We put up these three shelves. And I can't remember if that was yesterday or today. I think it was yesterday. I don't know. But we have games on the shelves now. So even if it was something we did yesterday, the games are up there now. Uh, this is most of our disk space games. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So that's good. Um, we still have the jewel-based, the jewel, jewel case games, uh, PS1, Sega CD, Sega Saturn others, uh, Dreamcast, that we have to do something with. I think we're going to actually put those along the top because the top is storage as well. There's a bunch of other video games also that we have to figure out what we're going to do with. 3DS, DS, uh, NES, Super NES, Genesis. We have so many video games. We really do. I love collecting, but man, it's been difficult. Did I show off this setup for breakfast stream? I don't I'm really scatterbrained. Hey bud, are you ready for are you ready for fourth meal? I bet you're ready for fourth meal. You're just squatting on the stairs forever. Okay. Uh, another thing, you can see we, those those were holding the games. We've been breaking, we've been getting the games out of the boxes. So now we get to break down the boxes. The other thing that happened is uh, there was an announcement yesterday or today that uh, EA was giving away The Sims 4 for free, which is like mildly upsetting because I uh, I actually bought it like two weeks ago. There was a sale and it was real cheap. It was like $4, but now it's free. And uh, Matt was like, ooh, a game for free. I want to do that. And it's then I'm doing. and then she did. And now you're playing it. How, how is it and how does it compare to um, three? It's different, like the HUD. Okay. <sighs> But, oh, well, it's good. You're super tired. I'm very tired. I almost went to bed about an hour ago, but I was like, oh, surely he'll be done soon. 
I'm also tired. Red Dead, uh, I, got, I got in a loop with Red Dead. Sometimes in those sorts of games uh, where it's, it's possible to get stuck in a mission where like you're, you're done on time and you can end the episode, but you can't actually stop playing the game because you're not sure if it's going to, uh, to save or not. Uh, that happened and that was unfortunate. So, um, yeah, I recorded a little more than I, I planned to record. The good news is, uh, there's content. So that's, that's nice. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. Uh, the internet troubles are never good, but the, the good part of it is that, um, you know, now we can use our own stuff. And uh, we'll get that figured out. And by we, I mean Jeff. He'll he'll tell us what to do. Um, tomorrow, we give the keys back to the old landlord. So that chapter of our life is 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 done. It's over. Um, lunch bunch is tomorrow. And uh, also our idea about cutting the boards to um, be supports for the center of these, so they don't bow in. Uh, that's going to happen tomorrow too, because um, we're going to meet. Uh, Justin after lunch at his shop and he's going to cut the boards for us. It'll also be really cool because we'll get to tour his shop and he makes all sorts of incredible, amazing things and I, I can't wait to see what he's he's got going on in there. Probably some stuff he'll have to hide if we use a camera because he's probably got a bunch of NDA stuff. He works with big, big companies so I guess I guess we'll see what we're allowed to, to film. Hopefully something cool. Anyway, uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and the most exciting thing of all, our bed comes tomorrow. It was supposed to come today, but we got an updated thing, and it was like, actually Wednesday. So I was going to be excited today, but now I get to be excited tomorrow. Now, if you'll excuse me, I desperately need to go to bed. Let's meet back tomorrow. Shall we? <laughs>